Jade, can you just talk about kind of how it felt to just get back out on the field after missing a week and having to watch from the sideline? Oh, I mean, it felt fun to go out there, share the field with um, the team, you know. Just I knew I had to bring some energy and do my part. So come on with the win. Talk a little bit about the play of your offensive line. It seems like they had a, a much improved week after struggling a bit last week. Oh, amazing, you know. And I just made it like – a uh, task for me to just get the ball out so they feel good about themselves and, you know, make plays, get it out, move the ball so they feel good. And then can you just kind of give your thoughts on that uh, that catch that Calvin Jackson made for the, the second touchdown in the, in the corner of the end zone? Oh, Calvin is that dude. He got that in his bag. You know, he can do that. I mean, he wants to do it almost on every catch, you know, that type of dude. Just there's going to be a time and place for him to do it. And what better way to do it in the corner of the end zone? Awesome. Thanks, Jaden. Congrats on the win. Appreciate you. All right. If you have a, if you have any questions for Jaden Delora, please raise your hands. We've got time for a couple more before he gets to the bus. Uh, okay. Uh, Colton Clark, Spokesman Review. Go ahead, Colton. Hey, Jaden, can you just, uh, you know, talk about the offensive start? Uh, where were you guys finding success there when you scored 14 real quick and, and what kind of changed afterward? Um, I would say when we first got out there, it was just tempo, you know? We threw different looks at them, different stuff we worked on this whole week. So kind of had them on their heels the whole time. And then when we see that, you know, Coach Stutz did a good thing, our offensive coaches, on just going tempo and just keep marching, keep marching. How would you assess your individual play? You know, obviously coming off an injury, you know, great start, 11 for 13. And, and afterwards, it kind of how would you grade yourself or gauge your, your own play today? Oh, nowhere close to where I should be, you know what I mean? And you know, once I get healthy, I mean, not using that as an excuse or nothing, but, I mean, I feel more comfortable. I just got back out there, just playing, making plays. You know, the second half, I felt more comfortable running, you know. I didn't want to go out there, run too much in the first half, and then put myself on the line, you know, and just kind of played it safe. And then when the time came where I had to make certain plays, I just made it and then just – I just gave all the offensive receivers just and our running backs, gave them the ball and let them do the thing. That's why I'm here. Get the ball to the playmakers. And, and can you talk about the defense a little bit? Just, you know, how comfortable do you feel out there when you know the defense is just putting up zeros all for the most part? I mean, the defense has been doing this all year, every game. You know, we can count on them making stops. It was just us not doing our part in the second half, you know? And, I mean – Give them credit, all Coach Dicker there, the defensive coaches, all the players. You know, they have really – they all got big heart. They play not just for themselves, put themselves um, – they don't put themselves before the team. So I'm really thankful for the defense.